look at Fluffy. Look at Fluffy. What's going on, buddy? You got his ears lowered. Got his ears lowered. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. And I'm out here with the what? The Fluffy Poodle. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. So the Fluffy Poodle and I have been doing a lot, a lot of hard work in college. You know the hard work that's in Professor Fox's class? The class that people said was so horrible? And you want to know something crazy about that class, Fluffy, is we had to write this essay and explain the who, what, when, where, why this class is actually really, really good. So while Fluffy is sitting down right there, I'm just going to go ahead and dive straight on into this awesome essay and explaining why Miss Amy Fox is such an amazing teacher, professor, and just great overall person. Many students believe that English 101 with Amy Fox Anger will be one of the hardest classes they will take while at Elizabethtown Community and Technical College. Because former students say that she is extremely strict and enforces the rules. Scholars all over campus may wonder if they should take this class or not. Instead of listening to other students, undergraduates should consider taking her class. While Fox does set strict standards, her students learn skills beyond the English 101 curriculum. Some of the other skills Fox teaches are integrity, responsibility, and personal courage. Fox teaches integrity by having students do their own work. Having integrity means being honest about one's thoughts and work. On the first day of class, Fox stated not to cheat. She explained in detail that plagiarism is copying someone else's works and the effects of not doing your own work. Using AI technology and other dishonest methods will result in a failing grade and or being kicked out of college. Beyond saying plagiarism is wrong, Fox teaches how to cite sources, quote, and paraphrase so students know how to give credit. In class, students practice verifying information and citing credible sources so they can learn how to use sources correctly. These practices and methods help instill integrity by making sure students' work becomes their own. Valerie Martini article, What Happens When Your Soft Skills Kill Your Career, states that integrity is part of your personality and will play a role in how students function in their work. This applies to students when they are faced with the opportunity to cheat or do their own work. Thus, integrity is important and the student's responsibility while in Fox's class. Fox teaches how responsibility is crucial to the success of college work. Being responsible in this class means having accountability for one's actions and being proactive with assignments. According to the Kentucky Council of Post-Secondary Education, graduates have to learn to accept change. And while in Fox's class, students are responsible for revising drafts several times before turning in their essay and paying attention to the due dates. Nevertheless, Fox instructs students to practice with currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. On the handout essay on soft skills, Fox lists the requirements for the soft skills essay. Fox explains in detail how to follow the instructions. Some tasks include making sure your research passes the crap test, therefore are the individual's responsibility. Being responsible connects the idea to the lesson being taught because taking ownership allows for deeper comprehension. Hey Fluffy. Fox also teaches students to produce their own ideas, which are required when drafting essays in her class. And by learning responsibility in Fox's class, students also learn personal courage. And that personal courage, Fluffy, is another soft skill that Fox teaches. The ability to put fear aside and do what is necessary physically and or morally is personal courage. Fear is common when doing classwork, but developing personal courage will help students get through that fear. Having personal courage means having the ability to face fear and do what is necessary. When going over section five, types of assignments, value, and description in Fox's syllabus, there is a graph of the total points that can be earned while taking English 101. Some students are worried and full of fear because of the amount of work that needs to be accomplished. Fox then instructs the class how you can overcome fear by breaking down the total amount of points into smaller categories for better understanding. 
with a thousand points total in the class. Some may be fearful, but when broken down into four smaller categories, finishing those tasks can be easier. She encourages students to complete one task at a time and not get overwhelmed with assignments. Students then had to make a choice about whether they would let fear overwhelm them or have the personal courage to complete assignments. By setting goals and breaking down large tasks, work is more manageable and less intimidating, which is the personal courage that students will get through tasks and is the force that will help students pass Fox's class. Overall, Fox teaches several soft skills in our class. She requires students to have integrity and do their own work. Students must be responsible and accomplishing tasks by the due date and face fear with personal courage. Some professors might not have students do a lot of work. Other instructors might require students to do less work than Fox assigns in her class. I know, buddy. If a student wants to learn and improve their writing, then they should take Fox's class. Students who just want to get a passing grade should take a different class. And if you want to make yourself a more knowledgeable person, then English 101 with Fox is the class to take. And that's a wrap on that essay, ladies and gentlemen, and the fluffy poodle. That is a wrap. That is a wrap. That is a wrap. And I think it's time that we wrap this up as well. Fluffy break. You good boy. Let's move that right there. Let's move this right here. Touch. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. And if you made it this far in this episode, you're an outstanding person and everybody else is, even if you didn't. And until next time, here, let me help you out there. And until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Fluffy, break. Here's a good boy. Here's a good boy. You want to turn it off? You got to push it right there. Fluffy, you gotta push it right there.